All right, so this is the moment we walk into the hospital and got checked into our room for my induction and literally had to sign all of that paperwork, had to get an IV and antibiotics, and we got started on the medication. Good morning, guys. Um, it is about eight something in the morning. We got here at 12 in the morning and it was rough, like, um, got here, got all situated, set up and everything, and they literally put the IV in my wrist, the vein blew, it was bleeding, it hurt really bad, it was like uncomfortable, and so they took that one out, put one in my hand, which has been a lot better, un not uncomfortable or anything, it's been fine, and then, um, they gave me an antibiotic because um, I did test like positive for GS something. Um, basically, it's like for strep that I can pass to her. And so um, they gave me um, an antibiotic. Well, after probably well, I'd say an hour or so of like halfway through the um, bag, um, I got really, really itchy and I was itchy everywhere. Um, my head from literally from my head all the way down to my legs it was bad and i had no rash or anything but i started getting bumps and so they gave me benadryl knocked me out so i don't really remember too much what happened throughout the night but yeah um knocked me out for sure and then um this morning they did the other um Cytotic, C Y T O T E C. Um, basically, it was two doses. I got one last night. Had to wait the four hours to see if it would soften my cervix. I softened it a lot, um, but when they checked me this morning, it wasn't enough. They thought it wasn't enough, and so they did the second dose. And I was only at like one centimeter, and then. Um, probably about an hour to two hours after um, my doctor, my OB came in and was like, um, all right, I want you to go to the bathroom. I'm going to check you. And then we're probably going to break your water. In that order, exactly what happened. Went to the bathroom. He checked me. I was two centimeters, 70 percent effaced and he broke my water um he wants her head to come down into my cervix more i guess i don't really know i'm just i'm just here man um i am having contractions but they're more in my back than they are anything else so yeah it's been it's been rough um He's gonna come back in a few hours and um, check me again, see how dilated, if I am dilated um, more. Worst case scenario is they're gonna give me the Pitocin, which will help with contractions. And if by this evening, I'm not, probably by this evening or by tomorrow, if she is not like, dropping down more i'm not dilating the worst case scenario is c-section um but they only say that is worst case scenario just because it is a major surgery and the hospital here they only recommend doing a c-section um no not recommend i'm sorry they do a c-section after every pregnancy then afterwards so they want to kind of try and do everything they can first before they do c-section so that's kind of where we're at with that so um yep she right now is fluctuating between 119 and 140 when she has a spur moment she like goes um high in heart rate which is good that's a good sign uh, um i think that's about it so i guess i will check in with y'all later i'm just watching some tv for right now um, they said that eventually we can like go walk around and stuff, but yep, just sitting here for now. So, see y'all.
else, dude, I wish you could shower so bad. But because it broke my water, it literally feels like I am paying myself. It's so warm and like I have to sit in it basically. And it's kind of gross, but it's what it is. We're having a baby. So, ready for it. All right, so at this point, we were just hanging out in the hospital room waiting for my dilation to get to a certain point and me just to keep progressing and my contractions were just getting worse. So as you can see on the monitors that I was contracting and it was getting really rough in all honesty. All right, so we ended up getting the Pitocin after I ended up getting my water broken that morning and the Pitocin was at a four, which increased my contract. All right, well about noon we ended up getting the epidural and that was a story in itself they messed up ended up having almost a c-section at about five o'clock because her vitals were going down really low they were really scared and then by about 11:25 p.m we had her <laughs> 